It was 21 degrees. Uh, it was 22 degrees, but never mind anyway. Barbara does win today. I did say Yay. 20 degrees. Knew the weatherman Yay. was going to get it completely wrong at 17. Uh, <laughs> you got to wonder what's in his tea these days, don't you? Tuesday, May 18th, and I'm glad to have everybody along. Got to welcome along everybody on Facebook Live right now. Nice to have you guys with us. And believe me, it's an absolute pleasure because today... We're joined by Mark, coming from the band out of Arkansas, Fiction 6. Uh, Fiction 6, and believe me, uh, we met Mark the very first time on Yorg's World. So, look what can transpire when you go and help co-host somebody else's show. Yeah, you get to steal their artist as well, basically. But in the meantime, <laughs> let's get straight into it. Here's Fiction 6 and Given Sight, right here at Galaxy. It's hot in here. <laughs> it is. Um, 86.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh. Yeah, that's warm. <laughs> um, <clears throat> loving the guitar work here. Thank you. <laughs> that's my, uh, my carbon. Very, very nice. In, are, are you one of these people who just can't put a guitar down? Sometimes, yeah. It's because uh, because I am a, I'm a main writer in the band as well, so a lot of times I'll be sitting there, you know, it's an idea. You know, so sometimes I'll uh, sit around and write songs, and then it allows me to come up with vocals really easily too. So. Very, very cool. Uh, believe me, um, Barbara has a, uh, a company that, takes care of logistics, bringing bands into the country for touring and stuff. <clears throat> and um, one young fellow that we had working, well, you can't call it work, because whatever he did, he had a guitar in his hand. <laughs> you know, he just wouldn't put it down, no matter what he did. Uh, we employed his brother, and he came as a second package, you know what I mean? Um, sure. You know, so now, instead of having four hands, we only had three, but we had music. <laughs> there you go. Some, some... <laughs> <laughs> the maestro. Yeah, believe me. Um, went on to be an absolute brilliant guitarist and has gone, uh, followed his career over the years, you know what I mean? He, wonderful young man, he really, really is. Talking about Cara. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Given Sight is playing at the moment. For you guys that are joining us on Facebook Live right now, got to welcome you along again. Uh, if you're going to be watching this a little later on, you know, over on YouTube, yep over there you know what to do right <laughs> you do yeah sub thumb bell bingo because um well bell is because when we have important you know people important artists like what we have right now believe me you want to know about it you do <clears throat> barbara you look wonderful oh what did i do yeah <laughs> I was waving uh, to Mark. Believe later. me, Mark, we uh, <clears throat> watching us, oh, watching you, watching us, watching you kind of thing. You know what I mean? Technology is fantastic. Fun for the video. One for the video. Fun for the video. Fun for the video. Clean your ears. Clean my ears. I have, need my can. Somebody needs to talk to me in my headphones. I might hear I'm you. I'm not then. doing that. <laughs> <laughs> You're not doing that. Oh dear. 73. 73? And, really? And 196. And 196? Oh, wow. Seriously? <laughs> wow. 73 countries around the world and 196 cities are tuned in this morning. Awesome. That's that, excellent. Yeah, that's brilliant. Absolutely love that. Really do. It's, the more the merry. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uganda in there? And Egypt. And Egypt. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Jimmy's killing it right there.
That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM 25 after 11 o'clock, 23 degrees. Barbara wins again. I suppose good way for her to start the working week actually. Uh, yeah, well, on a winning note, so well done to Barbara. Tuesday, May 18th in Bolivia. I'm absolutely elated because today we've got Mark Leno coming out of the band Fiction Six. And believe me, we want to know all about the sixes. We do, it's important. Uh, welcome to Galaxy Mark. How are you? It is an absolute pleasure to have you with us. It really, really is. Now, uh, I've got to be honest with you, Mark. The first time I met you on York's World, I absolutely flipped out over your music. I really, really did. As an engineer myself, I absolutely thought this is brilliant. I want to get to know this guy. So uh, thank you for uh, coming to Galaxy for an interview. Well, thank you for having me. I, got, I appreciate it. I've got to warn you, though, uh, this is going to be like no other interview you've ever done before, or we'll probably want to do again, uh, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, but, you know, now that I know that you're a good friend of a friend of ours, I'm going to be, you know, really nice to you instead. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Don't want Jimmy to find out that I'm being nasty or anything. I really, no. Uh, but... My friend, we started off with Given Sight. Now, this had, has Jimmy Bell in it. Tell me all about this track. Sure. Well, the song is actually about spiritual sensitives. Uh, so that's where you get the name Given Sight. The, the original album, the debut, actually was... It's Fiction 6 started off as kind of like a project. So um, it was really great to have all these wonderful players on it. So I had Jimmy Bell on this one. You know, other songs, we had Bill Leverty from Firehouse and... We had all of these different people that were on there. It was great. But so this ended up being the title track because, or the, not the title track, but the first track on the album because uh, Eric Rano's keyboards, too, were just so cool, the entrance. And I got to say that the, the musicians that I have and still have, J.K. Northrup and, and uh, Rory Fashion, uh, uh, and right now we have Larry. Right now we have a bass player, uh, Larry Hart, but on that album was uh, Tony the Fretless Monster Franklin uh, from The Firm and Blue Murder. But Jimmy is great. I mean, the whole time we were talking, uh, Jimmy I originally knew from earlier on, my uh, ex-bandmate uh, Carl Sentence, who's now in Nazareth in the Don Airy Band. They were together in the Geezer Butler Band some years ago. And I actually used to play one of Jimmy's songs with them when we, uh, in 1992, we were performing uh, a song that ended up on Dehumanizer. It was uh, Masters of Insanity. And so, but yeah, Jimmy's great. Not only a smoking player, but just a really down-to-earth nice guy. And he looks a lot better in black than I do, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, I'm not going to go there, believe me. I think you're both very appropriate in that color. I really do. Uh, but... <laughs> You know, something that absolutely floored me, and this really, really took my interest, my friend, is you're co-writing a book with Jimmy. Well, so I, I had a little bit of um, uh, some injection, basically, in one section of the page, but actually who's writing the book is a friend of ours, but a mutual friend. Um, and actually, Jimmy's known Matt longer than me, but Matt Herring is writing a book. He wrote a UFO, a UFO book, a Uriah Heap book. Right now he's doing a Black Sabbath book. And so uh, Jimmy and I were both invited to say some things on, inside this particular book. Uh, and we, what's really cool is there is going to be a song that's going to be a download with the book, which was done between Fiction 6 and a tribute band that I have called Farmer Bob. And uh, we ended up uh, redoing Children of the Sea by Black Sabbath, and it's really smoking. And it's going to be part of that book package when people go to either fund the book or download. So. You know, I I hope you're going to send us a copy so that we can edit. And, well, if, if you're game enough, you might want to come back and tell us all about it. Because, believe me, uh, yes, Matt Herring is a good friend of ours here at Galaxy as well. So, believe me, absolutely fantastic. Love, love, love the correlation there. Uh, now, I, I do have a fan question for you, Mark. Um, as a fan, how do we get hold of you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? But more importantly, Mark, do you respond? Absolutely. I respond to everyone. Um, so I'm a social animal. So that's just it's the way I am. It's the way I've always been. 
Uh, so like I told you earlier, I'll talk to a tree, you know, somebody's <laughs> got to get the bark off that thing. So, but yeah, so I'm, yeah, I'm on every platform as is fiction six and myself. So, uh, I'm on Twitter. So at fiction six at, uh, Mark Lanou, or it should be Mark Allen Lanou, I believe, or musical Marcus. I'm sorry. It's musical Marcus. Um, and also I'm on Facebook as is fiction six. Um, and also Instagram, Fiction6 on there as well. On Facebook, it's Fiction6 Rocks. Our website is uh, Fiction6Rocks.com. We're everywhere. We're on Amazon. We're on iTunes, Apple Music, everywhere. We're, you, you put in Fiction6, you can find us. We're on YouTube as well. So. You, you know, Mark, uh, believe me, uh, I'm pleased you got that right because believe, some people will end up on Marky Mark's page. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> And the funky bunch, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, do you have a website? And more importantly, do you have a merch store on your website? The merch store is actually on uh, MelodicRockRecords.com. And if they put in Fiction 6, it will go to, like, there's a store there. They'll have merchandise. And then there's another place where it's just the artist where you can pre-order our new album. Our third album's coming out soon. And we have two other albums, which are uh, Told Our Secrets, our debut, and The Alternate Me, which is our second one. Absolutely stunning. And you can't go wrong, folks. Literally, go and get a purchase. Go and buy this. Believe me, you will love the work. Uh, as an engineer, I can't fault it. I really, really can't. So believe me, you're going to absolutely love it. Now, Mark, uh, Innocence. Tell me about Innocence, because I absolutely love this track. So it started off, and which a lot of tracks do start off that way, it started off with me and my guitar, like we were talking about earlier. And uh, so I was thinking about all the songs that I write have some meaning. It was just like the old school. I like stories. I like meanings, experiences. And this was just about what I see happening to the world and have seen happening to the world for many decades. And the ones that get it, the worst are the children. And so... The whole idea of innocence is we have to remember we were there once before. Look into the eyes of children and lose yourself within their innocence because you, you got to go back to that space to remember who you were then and what happened in between where we can meet the, you know, in the, in the middle space. So that's kind of what that song really uh, means. And so, but i got to say that the, my bandmates are fantastic, and J.K. and I are like really good chemistry in writing. So I'll send something over, and it just turns into this glorious thing that you hear. And I have to give them kudos because they're, they're really great. And Innocence was written between myself and J.K. Northrup. I send, it's funny. I send him something. He goes, I just sent you something else. I did a few things. If you don't like it, we can go back. I say, what do you mean if I don't like it? Everything you send me, I love. So, so every time he sends me something, it's always better than what I started with. So that's, that's the glorious thing about it. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, joined by Mark out of the band Fiction 6, Here's Innocence. <laughs> How you feeling, Mark? You don't need a stiff drink or anything just yet? No, not yet. I've got my <laughs> tea right now. Uh, oh, you're <laughs> drinking tea. Gosh. I got, so, so I'll tell you some stories about stiff drinks. So I learned as a musician touring that uh, if you took every drink that was handed to you, you'd end up being an alcoholic. So I used to put a bucket on the side of my amp, and every, whenever they gave me the Goldschlager or the Jägermeister, I'd put it in my mouth, thumbs up, I'd walk over and adjust a knob on my amp and spit it in the bucket, because otherwise I'd end up like an alcoholic, like the other buddy on the other side of the stage, you took them all in. <laughs> so, so, but uh, it's just, in China, I had to learn whenever they went gambe, I would get a big can of tea, Right, with a straw? Yep. And then when I went Gombe, I'd spit it back in the straw into the can. They didn't know. I'd watch them all get drunk. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, these yeah. are the tips. So you don't these are the good tips. They really, really are. Like Believe it. me, I've, I've been around the world with a number of bands as well. I really experienced that as well. Um, we, I used to have people throw joints at me. Uh, yeah, I used to have people throw joints at me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. happened when you're touring all the time. They yeah. throw bags at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> believe, believe me, I, I've been there, literally, you know, I've, being an engineer, not not as a performer myself. Sure, um, yeah. <laughs> you, you've got all of this crowd in front of you, you know, as you... <laughs> and you yeah. get all of these... Throwing powder at you. Throwing, rain throwing. at you. Yeah, believe me. <laughs> Loved it. 
Um, Wouldn't you get away with it now? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, actually, believe me. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but having said that, of course, it's a surreal time with oh, this is, yeah. COVID virus thing. I mean, it's closed you down, what, for 14 yeah, months now, it, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Can't wait to do shows again. How are you feeling about that? Are, are you doing shows over there yourself right now? Well, so the funny thing about Fiction 6 is that, so there are some people opening up and doing shows. Mm -hmm. It depends on the state, really. Mm -hmm. And they're starting to line up now. I've been seeing where they're starting to line up all the shows, and people are trying to beat as quickly as possible whoever has money to go to the shows, right? Yep. So, um, but Fiction 6, we want to do some festival gigs, but we have day jobs, we have family, we have other things, so we really can't go on the tour thing, mm -hmm. the tour circuit. Like, I, I used to tour in the 80s and 90s. I don't really tour now but i'd be glad to play festivals i the last festival i played was rocklahoma okay and i played with the band biloxi uh and uh it was like 50 there were like fifty thousand people there it was great i love that love that yeah i, I miss those days i really really do um <clears throat> believe me when the band kicks off and the crowd goes up makes the old nipples go hard, I've got to be honest with you, you know what I that's mean? That's right, that's right. <clears throat> got to bronze them, right? Yeah, oh, believe me. <laughs> go home with holes in your t-shirt. <laughs> Tommy Rojo's with us. Nice to have you on board, sir. <clears throat> and I think the guy from Bry Street, is, uh, he gave a little hello. Right, okay. Uh, Bry Street are coming up for an interview yeah, in the future, aren't they? Week. Yeah, we play their music. <laughs> we yeah. do. We really do. Um, You know, my hopes are dashed now. Really, I'm really upset. Ariana Grande has just got married. <laughs> That's it. And to a real estate boyfriend, now husband. Uh, no hope for me now. I'm just really upset. You know, I <laughs> really can't get over that one. Nice to have everybody joining us this morning. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, joined by Mark from the band sure Fiction 6 out of Arkansas. And believe me, it's an absolute pleasure to play his music here at Galaxy. We get so many requests for you guys, we really do. We uh, started off playing you and uh, didn't say anything to anybody and before you know it, everybody wanted to know who, what, when, why, how, you know, so believe me, it is great to be able to fill in those gaps right now. Now, Mark, who's your influences? Where did you draw this album from? Oh, wow. I really draw the songs that, that are written, I, they really come from just experiences, really. Uh, and sometimes those experiences are childhood experience. Sometimes they're the experiences of others. And that's kind of what happens. I just move with the times as well on what's happening. But the, 
the so the album itself so i usually start off with the album and, and the idea behind the album and why i'm doing that and so there's a name right so the the, the name of this album is ghost of my father's past and that has a couple of meanings one is ghost there is the reason why i didn't put an apostrophe in the title is that fathers could be our forefathers fathers could be those fathers before you that kind of you know make us who we are and and that all came through and then the other is has to do with my actual father my father was murdered when i was 10. so um so the whole cover that's actually what the artist was trying to project there was with the father inside of me you know and then how will i do things different and how will i do things that are different for better better for other people and better for the future better for my family and we look in the mirror you could see what's in front but the person in front of the mirror represents both me and my father. So it's kind of that kind of premise. So, But the songs themselves were really written based on the times now especially. There's a lot in this album that has to do with what we're all going through. And that fact that the history behind that is really a cyclical thing in chaotic nature of human beings. So it, that's kind of what this whole album is about. Very, very understandable. Uh, condolences on your father too, by the way. I uh, had no idea about that. Uh, now, at the same time, it, it is a surreal time right now. Uh, of course, I wouldn't expect a lot of it. Believe me, I hear it everywhere. Not doing any concerts right now. So, right. Uh, are you spending more time right now doing writing? Are you recording more right now? Yeah, we are recording more right now. And me personally, I'm recording more. And I have a side, uh, like, tribute project called Farmer Bob. We did it for fun, especially when the pandemic happened. But with Fiction 6, what's funny is Fiction 6 was a pandemic band before the pandemic because we were recording. So my my uh, producer and guitar player, J.K. Northrup, who was in King Cobra and XYZ and lots of other bands, he he's the producer, the guitar player. He lives in Sacramento, California. My uh, marvelous keyboard player extraordinaire lives in uh, Los Angeles, California. My drummer, uh, lives in Nashville, uh, Tennessee, and uh, my bass player is close to uh, old J.K. Northrop. He's close over in that area in California. So, so we were kind of we're all over the place. So that's how we record, and that's how we've been recording. And so, but we've really grown to to know each other's playing and each person on the phone. And and so over time, we're kind of learning, kind of like a band does in a room, right? We're learning about each other. And then my farmer Bob actually helps the Fiction 6 because we do all kinds of songs. We have like 29 tributes right now to 70s, 80s, 90s bands. We've done everything from Nazareth to David Bowie to Anthrax to Europe to Kiss to you name it, we've done it. Uh, and right now we're about to release a Badlands tune tribute and uh, another Sticks one. So, you know, but that allows me to kind of move around my voice and, and grow and it helps the Fiction 6 a lot as well. So. That's very cool. Oh, by the way, I actually know the former lead singer of Anthrax, so uh, uh, yeah. when I catch up with them next, I'll give them, you know, people out there. Yeah, yeah you influence them. Uh, tell me about Bleed for the Truth. Sure, Bleed for the Truth has to do with um, just what it says, you know, the, the truth. So there's different types of truth, right? There's your truth, your inner truth, and there's the actual truth. There's, there's what, fa what you support the facts, and everybody has their own personal truth, but really, ultimately, it comes down to actual truth. And a lot of us, you know, really bleed for that, in, in, especially in desperate times. And, you know, and we also look within ourselves to try to find our inner truths. You know, that's what we really bleed for. We want to be the best people we can in most cases, and we want to be good to others. And, you know, that's most of us want to be. Um, and sometimes there's things in the way of that, but you know that's where we all have to really seek the truth together, and that's you know that's what I bleed for. So I absolutely understand it. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, joined live by Mark from the band Fiction Six. Fiction Six, let's get it right and bleed <laughs> for the truth. I love this track. <laughs> I do. Um, Mark, i, I got to let you know that it's not easy getting an interview here at Galaxy. It really, really isn't. We are so booked up. It's, wow. Well, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Right. But uh, more importantly, Barbara gets about 30 bands a day that want to do the interviews, do the promotions, all this sort of stuff. You know what I mean? 
Is that where I go like this now? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Go exactly like that. <laughs> um, in, in the end, she, I mean, we only have a certain amount of time in a week to be able sure, to do this. Sure. So she's got to whittle it down and whittle it down and whittle it down. And uh, she knew that I wanted to talk to you about your band and your music. So we've had to bump a few people, yeah, squeeze them in. But we've got to get you past the board because the board, they are only interested in our image. You know what I mean? So it's got to be good. Sure. Sure. Got through that, and then, would you believe it, I d hadn't actually heard your music at the time. <laughs> really, only what I'd heard on Yorg's World, you know what I mean? So right, uh, right. Barbara comes to me with this USB thing, and I usually <laughs> yeah. play it in my car. Now, the reason for that is two reasons, actually. First reason, Mark, is nobody else can influence me on whether I want to do the interview. I right. get no information, just the music. And I'm right. thinking to myself, shit, this is good. I like this. You know what I mean? Thank you. Um, the the other that. reason too, by the way, is that nobody else wants to drive with me. <laughs> <laughs> they think going sideways is weird. I don't know. Yep. Um, her son is a champion car racer. He goes sideways all the time. That's yeah, not weird. Same with her grandson. He's a champion car racer as well. Not weird. Here, these prudes think going sideways is weird. Uh, <laughs> We're, we're in the middle of three cities in a little sawmilling town, literally, maybe about less than 7,000 people in it, right? Uh, and we're a sawmilling town, literally, we're covered by forestry, you know what I mean? Um, right. So I know where they hide the keys to the gates to the fire breaks. <laughs> and, and I got the kind of car that you want to go and play with, <laughs> you know what I mean? Bore it out. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. yeah. You don't get a good sideways unless you do, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I think I bored out with a friend. We bored out a 351 Cleveland once. And it, that that thing would, uh, yeah, smoke the tires off the back of the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, when I was younger, I stole the school bus motor and stuck it in a mini. <laughs> 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 me and my brothers we stole the school bus motor we did well everybody has to have a hobby you know? yeah exactly yes. and those were the days we actually you could work on things you know what i mean not one of the That's chinese right. stuff you get today <laughs> That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 12 away from 12 o'clock lunchtime and 22 degrees. Yeah, not bad actually, the weatherman said 17 degrees. He didn't stand a chance, I knew he wouldn't, but I didn't think it was going to get to 22. 20, yeah, reasonable. And Barbara wins again, yeah. <laughs> Happens all the time, it really does. She's so good at, where did you learn this from? Okay. You did not. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> Literally, poker. Mm, okay, okay, poker. Yeah, don't play cards with Barbara, by the way. You will lose. You will. Yep. Bel under the sleeve? Yeah, she's got them everywhere. Don't you worry. You know. <laughs> yeah, dubious at best. And <laughs> don't go to the table with money or chips. You'll lose them. <laughs> what is the death card doing in here? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know. um, well, what's this meaning about a king with a sword through his head? I don't know. Let me tell you the it. story she goes. There once was a couple of kids in a bush. <laughs> dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, today, absolutely elated. I really, really am. I'm joined by Mark from the band 
Fiction 6 coming out of Arkansas and believe me, uh, Mark, you've been the uh, feature artist of the day today here at Galaxy, literally, and people have been wanting to know one thing. Are you married? Yes, I am, actually. I've been, I married my high school sweetheart. Um, we dated for a long time because um, she wanted to wait a while before she said yes. <laughs> so, so uh, but uh, yeah, we we have uh, three children and a grand grandchild, and so yeah, I'm I'm married. Yeah, firm believer in marriage and holding on to that. So I'm I'm one of those faithful people. Uh, well, I'm sorry, Michelle, coming out of uh, <laughs> Kansas, Australia. Uh, he is. I I will tell you though that if you want to change his mind, you're going to have to come with a brewery and a boat. <laughs> Million. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, but Michelle from Cairns, Australia, she just wanted to know if you're married and uh, wasn't sure whether I should ask you about, hey, we get them in there anyway, don't we? Uh, oh, I don't mind those questions. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're not coming from Canada where they have big hairy fellas in the bush there, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'll still say hello and have a beer with them. It's okay as long as they stay their distance. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, uh, I, I could have been talking about Chris Andreas. See, we're supposed to be going out Sasquatch hunting. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah. between the two of us, a couple of big hairy guys in the bush. <laughs> we wouldn't recognize the Sasquatch. You might fit in. You know what I mean? Oh, brother. <laughs> you know what? Mm, yeah, it's going to... Uh, don't ever upset Chris Andreas in the kitchen, by the way. He throws knives professionally. Yeah. <laughs> you just never know what might happen if you say the wrong thing in the kitchen, right? <laughs> yeah, it could be a sharp point. Uh, Monster in the Mists. This is really one of my favourite tracks. It really, really is. Uh, this and Whispers in the Dark. I've got to be honest with you. Bit of a toss-up between both of them. So we're going to do Monsters in the Mist first, in the Mist. Tell me all about this, because believe me, I absolutely love it. Yeah, so Monster in the Mist has to do with, uh, the story behind that has to do with those people that hide behind avatars and fake accounts and things like that, that bully other people, that do things that are bad to other people, cause, cause some of them that cause them to even kill themselves, things like that, just the awful things that happen out there uh, in on cyber or even on the phone in the old days so i call it the monster in the mist it's the it's the things that you can't quite see that hide they hide behind things i, I feel they're cowards because they hide behind things but that's what that whole song is about it's about those those people that hide behind those things just to make other people's lives horrible and that's what the monster in the mist is you know i was actually just watching a documentary yesterday about a guy who was absolutely terrorizing people all through the United States, all through Canada, even Australia. He was coming out of Sweden. I mean, and he was an absolute nasty person. He really, really was. Uh, getting the girls to first do the flash thing and then holding right. them to ransom after that and making them, you know, just... Monsters. Yeah, he and was. Monsters. So, you know, this absolutely fits right there. You're right here at Galaxy. Here's Mark and Fiction 6 with Monster in the Mist. Wow. That's, uh, actually, that's actually one of my favorite guitar solos. The one I play on that song, Monster in the Mist. That's my, probably one of my favorite ones that I play. Very, very cool. As I said, yeah, I mean, I'm having a toss up here because I can't decide whether I like this one more than Whispers in the Dark or vice versa, you know what I mean, because believe me. Sure. Um, but as an engineer, you see, uh, Mark, I've got to be honest with you, I don't find a band often that I get excited about. And believe me, I'm almost 40 years in the game now, not only doing front of house, but also doing studio work as well. <clears throat> right. And for some of the most prestigious uh, recording studios here in New Zealand and in Australia and a couple of places around the world. Um, so believe me, when I say to you, Mark, that I absolutely love your music, and, and believe me, I took a shine to it way back at Yorg's World, you know what I mean? Um, right, but I, don't I appreciate listen, that. I don't listen to music like a fan would listen to it. I listen to it like an engineer, where I break it down, try and work it out. For its value, yeah, yeah. 
Where did you get your work recorded? Yeah. Uh, actually, so we record all of our work in our places where we are, and that the actual, yeah. re but all of, everything comes together at Alien Productions Studio, and that's J.K. Northrop, and that's in Sacramento, and he does all of that, the work. He's the, he's the producer, he's the engineer, he's the one that makes all that stuff come to life. I just, I play my stuff here, I sing, so when I do vocals, I do dry, completely dry. I sing everything dry, and I send them to him dry. He can do whatever he wants to him. Mm -hmm. and, and as far as the guitar, I do one track with my mod, so I have my you know sound, and another track dry. If he wants to run it through a Marshall or run it through another mod or whatever, he can take the dry track. So the way our process works, though, is I'll play my guitar, my rough guitar and my rough vocal to a click track, send it to Rory in Nashville. He'll map it out. He's a, he's a he's an MIT uh, honor graduate from 89. He's played on lots of videos. He's a studio musician. So um, he'll map it all out. He'll play guide drums. So it's not the final ones yet, but it puts everything into a map. And then I send all of that to JK. And from there, everybody sends their stuff in. And we build it. And then once we get it to a, the song the way we want it, Rory replays the drums, the bass gets played, and then the keyboards are last. And so that's pretty much how we do it. Yep, I, I kind of figured that might have been it. Who's mastering it? That's J.K. Northrup masters it. Right, yeah, I kind of figured he's doing the mixing and mastering at the same time. He's amazing, very talented cat. Well, yeah. you let him know that somebody that's almost got 40 years worth of knowledge here um, and has worked for bands like ACDC, NXS, Metallica and da, -da, -da through the years, um, Formidable competition right there. I I'll let him know that. I'm, I'm sure have, he will even see this, so that's, you know, that's great. I have a lot I'll of respect. Him. I have a lot of respect for the men's talents. I really, really do. You know, so uh, maybe that's what attracted me right from the start, was that I've got an engineer's ear, you know what I mean? And I listen to something and go, ooh, want to know more. You know what I mean? So uh, the Well, the engineer and the producer means a lot, because I always joke with Jake. I said, so did you use the duck filter on me again this time? Because <laughs> <laughs> I always send him my vocals and say, oh, I sound, I sound like a superstar. Did you put the, the duck filter on? <laughs> he always laughs. But yes. <laughs> I, I used to say to people, hey, don't worry, you, we'll record you in a submarine. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> with the windows open for the Australians. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know that they have windows anymore in submarines. No. No, I don't Only think they do. Only the hatch to come in. Only the hatch to come in. They don't have windows oh, in along the side no. anymore. No. It must be very awkward. Well, it's hard to get somebody to polish them on the outside. <laughs> You know, as I said, I don't know which is my most favourite track here. Is it Monster in the Mist? Is it Whispers in the Dark? And we're going to talk about this very, very briefly. But, uh, Mark, uh, first of all, I've, I've got a question here. Uh, have you ever tried vegan sausages? What sausages now? Vegan sausages. Vegan? Vegan yeah. sausages. Yeah. Are you no, um... speaking yourself? Uh, no, I, I just I don't I don't eat a lot of meat. Um, I eat some, you know. I, I do eat. I love vegetables, you know. So, um, so it just really depends. It just really depends on what I feel like eating that day. You know, I'm, I'm not really I'm not really one of those big food people. You know, it's like it's like I, I when I was touring, it's like oh look, it's Denny's. I can get a dollar ninety nine grand slam. This is great. And now it's like nine bucks, right? So, but <laughs> but. Uh, Anyway, it's, uh, yeah, I, I've never, I don't think I've ever had them before. Um, uh, down in Mississippi, when I lived there for so many years, of course, the Cajuns would put out the deer sausage, uh, the venison sausage, but uh, I've never, so there's different different types of food I've tried. Now, in China, I've tried a lot of things I didn't know what it was. So that's a whole different story, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, been there, I've done that, believe me, and it's. <laughs> Got some dubious taste. I got to be. Yeah, no. I was, I was just wondering if the vegan sausages were made out of real vegans. That was all. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. So, no, 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 
And I've never <laughs> asked anybody who's made one. them out of real pagans either. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I was kind of curious. It's simply because back in the day we used to buy girl guide biscuits and I was rather distraught because they weren't made of real girl guides either. That's right. Yeah. You know, and you're my, you're, John, yeah. John, it reminds me of the Adams family where they say are these made out of real Girl Scouts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> I tell you what, I've actually emailed Johnson and Johnson, and I want to know how many babies it goes into making a bottle of baby oil. There you go. <laughs> it's an extraction process. It is, you know, rendering down. Yeah, believe me, I think about three <laughs> fat ones actually. Um, have Have you had your um, COVID virus shot yet? Actually, I can't have it yet because I have, believe it or not, being a vocalist, this is kind of odd, but I have really bad allergies, and I'm on lots of medication for those allergies, and because of the fact that it has to do with my lungs, I have to be a little bit careful. So I do follow all the other protocols, because not because I'm so worried about it, because I have, you know, I'm first born in the United States to World War II uh, grandparents, and I really don't... Uh, it's not so much me. I do it out of respect for others. If they want me to wear a mask, I wear one. It doesn't bother me. You know, so whatever makes them feel comfortable, that's fine with me. You know, so. um, here in New Zealand, actually, we're not doing too bad as far as the virus goes. Uh, we did, we, when we first went into lockdown, and believe me, we went right into lockdown. No right. buts about it. Uh, but the problem was our security minister was getting all upset in arms because uh, he couldn't, well, you know the facial recognition software just couldn't pick people up with masks on? Sure. Yep. Yeah, yeah, no, he was getting really upset. Uh, finally, they wrote a program to be able to uh, recognize people with their uh, eyes and their nose face, you know, with the mask on. And the guy right. goes, goes into our biggest city, into a, one of the biggest banks there, robs it without a mask on. They couldn't identify him. Right. Lost them. Absolutely. You know, no mask. <laughs> Who the hell is that with no mask? But I tell you what, it's really, really weird. You can go into a bank these days, have a hoodie on, have, have a hat underneath that, much like yours, have a mask on, right, and be holding a suspicious package, and they smile and say hello to you. When did that ever happen before? <laughs> I mean, you go in with a mask into a bank? Yeah, great. All you need now is the bank to be able to sell your guns at the same time. You'd be set. <laughs> Believe me. Uh, there's a bank in the United States that does. You sign up with them, they'll give you a free gun. Wow. Yeah, uh, I think the uh, withdrawal process is rather difficult that way. <laughs> yes. Anyway, my friend... Uh, whispers in the dark. Now, believe me, uh, as I say to you, I'm having problems between monsters, uh, Monster in the Mist and Whispers in the Dark. This is a great track. Now, I really want to know the whole background of this one because it's got my, well, it's got my imagination. You know what I mean? Right. Tell me oh, so all about it. you're talking about Whispers in the Dark, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Whispers in the Dark has to do with, so I, I'm big on the whole, um, uh, I'm big on the whole, like, uh, spiritual thing. Uh, and so Whispers in the Dark has to do with... So I'm on a Ghost Hunter team, too, called The Veil. And so into all that kind of stuff. So that's what it's really about. It's about those whispers in the dark. It's about the crosses uh, over dimensions. And since I was at NASA, I'm really into the dimensional space, too, and the, and the kind of the, the crack between the dimensions, the spiritual world versus the, you know, your choices. Does it break up into do, two different time continuums that kind of stuff so that's really what whispers in the dark is about it's 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 about you know uh, you know some people hear those whispers because they know that it's there and other people just they just brush it off to hey it's just some noise from some brush around the corner so okay you know. okay now um uh, i'm gonna lay it straight on the line do you believe in ghosts yes excellent uh, believe me i've got a friend of mine who is a uh, a noted ghost expert literally coming out of the UK. In fact, he's the uh, fifth noted expert in the whole of the UK, literally. Uh, his name is Dr. John. And, uh, well, basically, I would call him a ghost hunter as well. Uh, I'm, fasc I'm fascinated by the subject, to be very honest with you. Uh, uh, my theory, and I do have a theory, is uh, maybe it's interdimensional, much like what you're saying, but would it be on maybe vibrations as well. Maybe we can't see them because of different vibrations fitting into one 
sort of matrix kind of deal. What do you reckon? Uh, yeah, I would say that um, I would say that it has to do with um, uh, with energy. So, and everything vibrates. There's there's vibrations. There's vibrations of photons, electrons, everything around us. Everything vibrates. So everything's based on energy. Whether it's uh, absorbing photons and later on having emissivity and letting out thermal, all those things are true. So everything's based on that. And so it, it would it would seem to me that it's also energy, and that but that's at least that's how they, um, you know, that's how they let us know they're there. It's a, it's an it's space and energy. It breaks through that dimensional space, and then there's energy. Whenever you do stuff like that, it, there would be energy involved, in my personal opinion. So, um, and you know, it could be, it, it could be. It's kind of like when you think about an, uh, an analog to digital conversion, right? It's it, it could be something that you could you could convert over from sound or something that's just vibration or something that's just wavelength you know, so. exactly and believe yeah. me I am right there with you uh, even though and I'm going to be honest with you Barbara says to me all the time I'm a big skeptic you know and then I used to say well hold on in the old radio station before we moved into this one she was being attacked all the time literally I mean her chairs were going up and down you'd yeah. she'd be sitting on the staff couch and she'd have something sit next to her stay overnight and believe me the activity at night time and believe me I was scared to stay in the building at night by myself and I had two huge dogs with me and even they're sitting there going you know dad this is rather freaky <laughs> you know so uh, believe me uh, I'm, I'm a big big believer in the alternative life and think that we do go to something other than this realm to be honest with you i do think there's more to it i really do so let's get back to the music here at galaxy is fiction six whispers in the dark how are you feeling there mark you okay Oh yeah, I'm feeling fine. I just had my daughter just came in and brought my uh, power cord to my laptop. It was going to the to the little end there. And <laughs> I was trying to be uh, quiet about it. It's like not interrupt the program and, and get her to come in here and plug it in for me. So it's plugged oh, in now. So awesome, good. awesome, <laughs> awesome. Um, how old's his daughter? Yeah, how old's your daughter? Well, my eldest daughter will be 25 in July. That's the one that has my... Uh, now he's going to be three my grandson um on the 20th of this month and my middle daughter is um she's 23 and uh my son is uh he's going to be 15 this month so yeah okay so I'm spaced out <laughs> who's spaced out the children in between oh a good oh eight space yeah. oh, i see thought you were saying i was very, very but I, i'm sure she thinks i'm spaced out you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, she she accuses me of this all the time, though. I've got to be honest with you. She takes <laughs> my you, you, If you ever want to stop drinking, get Barbara. Right? <laughs> Can you stop drinking? <laughs> Believe me, when I met Barbara, I stopped drinking. <laughs> I did. I really did. It's true. I did. Um, You're a good influence, Barbara. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> Yeah, but she still won't let me ride her sheep at her place. No, I sent him a photo of the lambs today. <laughs> yeah, our, our mascot, Midnight. No, I didn't send Midnight. Oh, you didn't send Midnight. No, I was oh, in okay. a hurry to uh, go and have my shower. Okay. Um, Mark, I've really, really got to say thank you so much for joining us. It's, it's been an absolute pleasure doing this interview with you. I as well, I enjoyed, I enjoy these, uh, these talks and I enjoy meeting new people so that all meets out and all oh, it's great. And it's, plus you get, you're pushing my, our music, it's getting out there for people to hear and that's, you know, that's, that's what we do this for, right? I mean, we, we do it to hear the stuff that you said. That's why, I, that's why I write and play and record music and that's why everybody in this group does. It's, we want to touch people's hearts, souls, ears, any, any way that we can, that's in a positive way, so. Nice, nice. Well, great. Uh, as I said to you, uh, 73 countries around the world right now, and 100 and, what was it, 90-odd? 90 96. 196 cities around wow. the world. Um, I'll give you the full number of how many are logged in after we do the interview. There's no use doing it before the interview. You, you know what I mean? Sure. <laughs> sure. Unless you're Irish. 
actually, I, I may maybe a little bit Irish, but uh, I'm a mutt, so okay. uh, I'm, I'm Indonesian, <laughs> Dutch, French, uh, Chinese, all kinds of stuff. So, <laughs> it, actually, I was talking to an Irishman the other day that we were doing an interview with, and he says, "Grant." Back in the 80s and the 90s, the fastest game in Ireland was pass the parcel. <laughs> and watch out for the girls in dairy. And the fastest job was a postman. <laughs> yeah, and watch out for the girls in dairy. Yeah, you got to watch for the girls in dairy. Mm. Beautiful button. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Hang in there, Mark. We'll be right with you. Okay. supposed to do that what, what's it doing come on uh, <laughs> mr producer what are you doing uh oh okay um <laughs> you pressed the wrong button by mistake hey Randy. yeah I, I don't know how that happens never do i do that really <laughs> don't lie uh, i i find it sometimes a problematic thing when i go to talk in the microphone and i haven't pushed the button so yeah, yeah i get it do, i yeah, do yeah. i understand that mm. Uh, now, having said that, today's interview, coming out of Arkansas, joined by Mark from the band Fiction Six, it has been an absolute pleasure. I've uh, got to thank everybody that's joined us this morning live on Facebook Live. Don't forget, if you're going to watch over there on YouTube later on, yeah, the, the movie deal, uh, don't forget, sub, thumb, bell, bingo, uh, bell for notifications, right? Yeah, so that we can let you know when important people like Mark from the band Fiction 6 are joining us again. Uh, now Mark, will you come back again? Will you release new stuff with us? Absolutely. I sure will. And we're almost done with this record. We're, we're right now working on the last two songs um, and we have a really uh, big surprise on a cover that we have. So there'll be ten songs, nine originals and a cover, which is coming out really slamming. And uh, really happy with the songs and how they're coming out. And each time another one comes, like, oh man, we we did it again. <laughs> so, so hopefully awesome. everybody else feels the same way. Well, my friend, I am absolutely elated. We'd love to get new music from you. We'd love to catch up again, do another interview with you down the track, and uh, at the same time, be able to expose uh, your music to our audio audience. Now, I got to thank everybody for joining us. Thank you so much. And tomorrow, uh, no, not tomorrow, um, literally, I'm, I'm used to Barbara throwing one at me, literally. Uh, but on Thursday, we're going to be joined by Louis from the band Hillside Outlaws, good old friends of ours, literally. So check us out then. But in the meantime, have a very happy and successful day. We'll catch up with you again in the near future. See you then. Uh, Mark, it has been an absolute pleasure. Please don't go anywhere just yet. We're going to do a couple okay. more things that we do after this. Uh, you will understand, literally. I don't know whether you'll appreciate it, but you might understand afterwards. <laughs> but in the meantime, let's go... I've been around. Yeah. <laughs> let's go back to the Studio B with Take That.